Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. And again, it doesn't matter what sport you're interested in betting on, we have you covered. So before we get into some picks for NHL for November the 14th, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP club section, which has all the tools that you will need. So we have six games on tap for November the 14th, so let's get started. The Calgary Flames and the Ottawa Senators. Neither team is playing stellar hockey at the moment. You see the status here, dead status for the Senators. They have lost their last five, and the Calgary Flames have lost three out of their last four, and they are averaged down. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you see that Calgary is at plus 28, and Ottawa is at plus 2. If you look at the totals predictor, if you want to consider the over and under, you can see that Calgary is right here slightly above the line, whereas Ottawa again is right near the line here, the blue, uh, excuse me, the black compared to the blue. So they're both very close to the line. You want to see how consistent the two teams have been according to their favorite underdog status. You will see here that Calgary is very inconsistent right now. They're at minus three, so take that into consideration, while Ottawa is doing very well according to the favorite underdog status at plus four. The score prediction has Calgary with a four to three edge with 52% level of confidence in the prediction. If you look at the odds, Calgary is a road favorite at 1.648 to 2.448. So in the end, I do like Calgary to win this game and I think it's going to be a higher scoring game I would bet over the line. Edmonton and St. Louis. See, both teams are average status at the moment. Edmonton coming off of a loss. They are 4-2 and two over their last six. St. Louis is has coming off of a win, and they are 3-3 three and three over their last six. You see that the Blues are a home favorite of 1.732 to 2.282, and the confidence in prediction for a Blues 4-2 win is at 49%. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that uh, Edmonton has been on an upward swing, they're up at plus 31, while the Blues are down to plus 22. If you're considering the over and under bet, let's take a look at this. You can see that Edmonton is trending against way over the line here. Look at this, plus 8, compared to St. Louis, who is trending in games a little bit below the line. If you look at the consistency factor, according to favorite underdog status, you will see here that Edmonton is very, very consistent, very stable at plus five, and St. Louis is right around moderately consistent at plus one. The way I'm looking at this game here, I do see that the Blues are the home fair. I, I, I do like the Blues to win this game. I like them to win and cover, but I do not want to bet the over and under in this one. Montreal and Boston. The Canadians enter play heading nowhere, as you can see, 1-5 and five over their last six. They are dead status. Boston is average status at the moment, coming off of a loss with a rebound win over Ottawa, and they are 3-3 three and three over their last six. You can see that Boston is a considerable home favorite at 1.468 to 2.995, and it's very indicative in the score prediction of 5-1, to one, a Boston blowout by a very high level of confidence of 83%. Let's take a look at the power ranking indicator, and you will see the discrepancy there as well. Uh, it's not a huge discrepancy, but Boston is, is 9 compared to Montreal 0. If you look at the total predictor, you see that uh, Montreal here is a little bit above the line, right? Plus 2 points. And Boston here is trending in game below the line at minus 2. So when there's a discrepancy like that, I tend to like to avoid betting the over-under. As far as the game goes, I do believe that Boston is clearly the better team. They are going to win at home, and I do believe it will be by at least two goals. New Jersey and the New York Rangers. Here is a long-standing rivalry, and this is always a good game, no matter what the status of the two teams are at the moment, and this should be no different. The Devils come in burning hot winners of their last two, after losing their previous three. And the Rangers are average status at the moment. They are coming off of a win, ending a three-game losing streak. You can see here that the Rangers 
are the favorites. A pretty decided favorite here at 1.588 to 2.595. Look at the power ranking indicator. You can see also that the Rangers, even though they're on a downward trend, they still are at plus 20. And the Devils are on an upward trend, and they're at plus 13. So still an advantage for the Rangers in that department. If you look at the total predictor, you can see here that New Jersey is trending in, in the game slightly under the line. The Rangers are trending in games under the line as well. This is a good indication to bet under, which is what I want to do in this one. If you look at the score prediction, you can see 4-1. to one, That's a relatively low scoring game. Rangers by three goals with confidence in prediction of 59%. If you look at the stability factor, see both teams are moderately stable at plus two for the Rangers and plus one for New Jersey. So yeah, the way I'm looking at this game here is I really do think that the Raiders will win at home. I think it'll be a low-scoring, hard-fought game. So I like the under, and I like the Rangers to win by a goal or two. Something like a 2-1, 3-1 final. Pittsburgh and Washington. Both teams look to pick up the pace. As you see that Pittsburgh is 1-5 over their last six. The only win coming against Philadelphia on November 4th by a 3-2 score. And Washington is ice cold up. They're coming off of a win, but they are just 2-4 and four over their last six. See, Washington is a pretty strong fear at 1.588, 2.595. The interesting thing about that is the score prediction has Pittsburgh by a 5-2 margin, but take that with a grain of salt because the confidence in prediction is very poor at only 25%. Take a look at that as it gets closer to the game and see what happens with that confidence in the prediction. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you see that Pittsburgh is down at plus 9. Excuse me, plus 5. They're way down. You can see back on October 26th, they were at plus 22. So a steep decline there. And Washington is at plus 18. The consistency factor. You see the volatility oscillator. Pittsburgh is at minus one. They have not been very consistent according to their favorite underdog status, whereas Washington has at plus three. The way I'm looking at this game is I do like the Capitals to win at home. Pittsburgh is just dead in the water at the moment. I do think that Washington will win, but I do not want to bet the over and under in this one because as far as the totals, points, uh, goals scored, I'm a little bit uh, up in the air on that one, so I would avoid betting the over and under. The last game for the day is Vancouver Canucks and the Anaheim Ducks. The Ducks come in burning hot. You can see winners of their last five. While Vancouver is ice cold down, they're coming off of a loss and they have lost four out of their last six. The Ducks are a very strong favorite at 1.76 to 2.235. And the score prediction is liking Anaheim as well by a 5 to 2 margin with confidence in prediction of about 65%. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can also see the discrepancy. Anaheim is way up here at plus 26. They are on a steep upward climb, down at plus 3 back on October 29th. And Vancouver has been up and down, and they are up to plus 10 at the moment. The total predictor, you see here that Vancouver is trending in games way under the line here, and they have for you know the better part of the last couple weeks, while Anaheim has been trending and games over the line for about the same period of time. So there, it's another indication that's really difficult to bet the over-under, so I'm going to avoid that one. Let's take a look at the volatility oscillator for the stability of the two teams, and this is a good indication to avoid Vancouver. They are minus four. You never know what they're going to do. And Anaheim is at plus two on the stability factor. So because of that, I really do like the Ducks. There's a couple reasons. The Ducks are better. They're at home. They're more consistent. Overall, I like the Ducks to win by a few goals. So there you have it. Those are the games for Sunday, November 14th in the NHL. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.